once again, I'm doing the thing where I'm still vlogging on technically day four, but this is going to go into day five because it's currently 7.23 and today's vlog, or yesterday's vlog for you guys, this is so confusing, that vlog is currently saving to be uploaded and fun times. So I just wanted to come on just to talk about like it's weird coincidences throughout my books. It's just... I don't know, it's probably just me, but it's really weird. I'm reading this book and they mention President Obama. Miss him. Miss him so much. And the last book I read, um, Not Perks, um, The Past Are the Things That Should uh, Stay Buried, that one, even though they don't mention him by name, they mention the current president, but you can tell because language, so huge, best miracle in the world. And like, you know, you can know it because of language. And there was something else that like connected that book to another book I was currently reading, and it's just weird how there's like coincidence. Oh, I know what it was. It was in Perks. Um, the past on the things that should remain buried mentions Rocky Horror Picture Show, and then that comes up. That same like movie comes up a lot in Perks, and the show itself comes up a lot in Perks. And it's just weird how like these three books completely different storylines. One, a dead friend comes back to life. One. It's this kid writing letters to an anonymous person just to talk about being a wallflower. And then this one about looking for treasure and oil spills in Louisiana. And how, like, somehow they're all linking together and making these connections in my head. It's just really weird. I wanted to talk about it. Anyway, I'm almost 50 pages into The Marauders by Tom Cooper, and it's okay so far. I'm sad that I haven't found any five-star books out of this whole thing because I kind of wanted that badge. But at least I'm reading. break room. You know what that means. I want to finish in the Heights today. <laughs> also, just in case I do finish because it's such a short book, I brought The Marauders by Tom Cooper, which I'm currently reading I'm 124 pages into. It's pretty okay so far, but In the Heights is going to be my one five-star book. I'm very excited, and it also means I get the badge. So yay, I'm going to get it for reading. So yes, guys, during my break right before the store opened, I finished In the Heights, my five-star read, my book that I read in one spot and I don't have to worry about anymore. It's done. Now I am reading The Marauders by Tom Cooper and getting more into that. I'm about halfway through it, so that means I'm halfway through that one and halfway through Vampires, which are my last two books on the TBR, so there's some hope. I accidentally ripped it. No. I have about 80 pages left in The Marauders. Treasure has been found, but it's told from multiple, multiple perspectives. So the perspective of the guy who did find the treasure... I don't know how to pronounce any of these names because they all have that like kind of French twang to them because it takes place in Louisiana uh, down in the bayou and I, we haven't seen his perspective in a while and last we saw him there were some not so nice people mad at him so that's fun and there's only 80 pages left so I don't know what's going on with him I hope he's okay Oh, someone just got shot. Yikes, we have like 70 pages left, a little under 70 pages left. And who it's starting to go down. So Molly over from Magical Molly is hosting a virtual read-in. There were two people, but it looks like I'm the only person there now other than the person she is on stream with. And I am, this book has 304 pages, so I'm five pages away from finishing, so I'm way down here. I know. I'm over here. I don't know where I am, but we're almost done. We're doing like a bit of reading, and yeah. I finished it, and I don't really like how it ended. The whole story was kind of meh. No nothing too exciting happened, and then when it did happen, it just kind of didn't go very far from there. So I'd say about three stars, although it is, if you're at all interested in things that Stephen King recommends, it is, there is a quote from Stephen King on the cover. Um, what else should I say about this book? There's treasure, there's drugs, there's murder. Uh, lots of catfishing. The whole thing takes place with this oil spell that happens in New Orleans. And it's just messing up, like, the fishing and the, the shrimping. And they're dealing with that. There's a character who's, like, going out and giving out checks from the oil company. 
there's just, everyone's in debt, everyone's looking for a way to get money, so we got treasure hunting and things like that. So, if you're interested in that kind of thing, check it out. If not, eh. That does make two books read today so far, because I finished In the Heights earlier, which is about Washington Heights, living there, being a child of immigrants, being from another country yourself, and it's just a beautiful musical written by Lynn Manuel Miranda on Broadway around 2008. The movie's coming out next year, and I am extremely hyped for it. Stephanie Beatrice from Brooklyn Nine-Nine is going to be in it. Yeah, it's going to be lit. This cast is incredible. And we have the original Apollo Claudia. I'm here for it. I think I'm going to call this vlog because it is creeping closer to 6 o'clock at night. Usually I try, start, try, try to start editing around 5 o'clock, so I'm going to call it didn't do much today just had some reading done i only have one book left on my tbr which is exciting